Hey everyone, in this video, I'll walk you through how to deploy a machine learning model as an API. For this to happen, uh, I'm actually using a fast API, which is a very popular and a famous framework for creating RESTful APIs, all right? I have trained a model which is a very simple ran uh, random forest classifier trained on uh, Iris dataset. This part will extract the target names and I'm, I'm actually initializing the fast API here this part of the code, it, it is actually a class uh, which is part of the Pydantic, uh, the base model. It, it will perform a data validation on input values and it will make sure that all those input values are in float format before uh, sending the value into the model for prediction. And this predict function will take those values, convert them into a NumPy array and uh, send those values uh, for the prediction uh, and send those values to the model for prediction and the model will give us the prediction and this part of the code will map the prediction with the actual target names that we took from this part all right and we will get the predictions back so this part is a server side now moving on to the client side it's a very simple streamlet application. The user will input some values and those values are converted into a JSON format and are sent uh, to a local host because we're running everything locally. That is why we're using a local host here. If the response data is, uh, if the response status is 200, then we will get the prediction from the model and it will be displayed on this streamlet application. So I'll be running the server.py in a Docker. For this to happen, I have created this Docker file. So these are the commands that will be initialized right after the Docker image is created. And uh, the Docker image is Python 3.10 slim. And after that, it will execute all these commands and it will run that server.py within a Docker, all right? Okay, so now everything is set up. It's time to create a Docker image. Docker build minus T name of the docker image this can be any name all right iris minus app after running this command it will create a docker image i have already created a docker image and to see all these images the command is docker images here is a docker image that i have created and to initialize this docker image uh, the command is docker run minus p expose it to 8000 uh, name of the docker image in this case iris slash app to run this after running this command it will initialize the docker image and it will execute the server.py within the docker image okay now that the docker image is created and the server.py is running within the docker image i can initialize the streamlit app to inference the model all right streamlit run run client.py this will show a user interface I can change values and get the predictions back from the model okay these are some input values that I'm using and these are the predictions that I'm getting back from the model and hold on Virginica again all right these are the input values that are sent to the model for the prediction and the model gives us the response that's it thank you very much